What's up everyone? This is Escobar972 or Esco for short and um, what I'm going to be doing today is something a little bit different from what I've normally been doing. This is not going to be a gameplay on Call of Duty. It's actually going to be uh, a narrative or commentary on a Facebook game that I've been playing as of late called Baseball Heroes. And um, what I'm going to do is basically give you a rundown of the game. Um, basically show you different strategies of the game basic strategies my own opinion of the game and also advanced strategies as well just breaking down the game for you I, I actually played the game a while myself and haven't noticed anyone else doing anything similar to this and this is why I decided that I was gonna go ahead and uh, do this type of commentary just to uh, because I noticed that a lot of people are playing the game and I wanted just to break that down and give people a chance to know the game better and perhaps get better at the game so first of all I'm just gonna go into the uh, the baseball heroes menu and just let it load up here and um, just bear with it it's loading up here and um, yep yeah, just to start the game what I did is I made a new Facebook account and just so I could just show you how it, how it looks starting out so first of all starting out um, they give you this, the opportunity to select which team that you want to use. So let me just turn off the sound here. And what you're going to do is just choose from a, a variety of different teams. They got, just like Major League Baseball, they got two divisions. Uh, well, two conferences anyways, you know, American League and National League. So I always, for myself, because I'm from Toronto, I feel that I gotta represent, so I always choose my team as being Toronto. So let me go and find it here. Hold on, and there we go. No, nope. where is that? There it goes. So I always choose Toronto, and then once you choose your team, then after that you just hit the select button, and then you have to name the team. So um, I tried to name it before the Blue Jays, but it won't let me. So why don't we just choose another name? just for you know just the sake of choosing a name so we're gonna call it the flames so you once you do that you're gonna choose a number so I'm just gonna choose any number it doesn't really matter you can choose your favorite number so once you do that you confirm it and then from there um, it allows you to build your character so you can you know choose whether you want to be male or female you can choose the type of face you want um, so we're gonna obviously we're gonna keep it as male and um, let's see what we want to do so you have a variety of different uh, faces that you can choose whether you can choose the normal one or you can choose the one with the square chin I don't think I want to do that so I'm just gonna pick something that just no, I don't want that one either so let's go to that one right there and then from there you can choose you know your skin color you know um, whether you want it to be light skin dark skin it doesn't really matter you can choose your skin color and then from there you can choose the type of hair that you have so you gotta you got a variety of different ways that you can um, choose your character and make your character to suit yourself so you know you can choose the type of hair the color of hair that you want so why don't we go back to this kinda balding crew cut so we're gonna choose that and then from there you can choose your eyes whether you want it to be big eyes evil eyes blue eyes if you want you can even ch change to blue the uh, the eye color as well so we're gonna go with that and then we're gonna change the nose uh, we'll go to that and then you can choose your mouth so we're gonna don't really like that one why don't we go with um, Nah, I don't really want that. Uh, well, we'll stay with that one for now. And I'm going to change. No, I don't want that color. There we go. So, once you do that and you're satisfied with what you have, you just hit select. So go ahead and turn down the, uh, the volume again. Actually, just turn it off and right here it's basically going through a little tutorial just to help you uh, start out the game so you now we're just gonna follow this tutorial so it says to play ball and um, 
I'm just going to let it load here. And right at the beginning of each season, you have this thing where it basically sets your goal for the season. And once you once it comes to uh, and it stops, then this is what you have to do for the season. So 15 home runs, 65 RBI. So you just have to accept it. So what happens with that is once you get that goal, um, you try to reach that goal. And if you can reach that goal, you get bonuses for each goal that you that you pass. So you get more than 15 home runs, more than 65 RBIs. They uh, they'll give you a bonus for that. So we're gonna go to next, and we're gonna just go through a little game. So right off the bat, they give you a tutorial on your on the batter shop here. So the batter shop is basically the special cards that you can have um, in your lineup. A special card just means a special player other than your normal players. And uh, off the bat, they give you 7,500 just so that you can buy a special player. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. And it's going to give you this special player. Now, the key of these special players are they have certain abilities that help you throughout the game. So, um, obviously, these special players are better than the normal players that you have in your lineup. So, you always want to make sure that you keep your special players in your lineup at all times. So, um, right now, we're just going to go through a little gameplay here. Um, and as you see here, the game is as simple as just basically going through the motions of um, automating it. The only thing that you're really doing, and let me just click the button here, is controlling your character. So hold on, we're going to click there, and it's going to let you know that if the ball is not within that square box there, you shouldn't swing at it. I mean, it's just common sense. So I'm going to click again. Oh. As you see, it's a ball. So you always want to make sure that you swing at the ball when it's in that strike zone to have the best opportunity to get a hit. So you're going to throw it. I'm going to swing. So you just click or hit the space bar right when it's at the best optimal time. You see there, I got a hit. So what you're always trying to do is get a hit where it says nice. And that ensures that you get a hit at all times. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here and uh, hold on, give me one second here. And it just says the, gom the combo gauge will fill up with every base hit accomplished by your team. And uh, the key to this combo gauge is to try to get to the max right there. And once you get it to the max, it means you're going to hit an automatic home run. So we're just going through here. So this guy got a hit. His combo gauge is at max. So as you see here, it says gauge is now full. This means an automatic home run. So we're just going to click on the, the OK button here. Hold on. All right. And what's going to happen is all I got to do is just make contact. Make contact. Automatic home run. Yahoo! It's so what you always want to do is make sure that you can get your combo gauge up to uh, you know up to the max. And uh, if you're having a very good game, you, you more likely you can get it up to the max. But usually you can only get it once. Sometimes you can get it twice if you're having a really good game. So as you can see here got another nice hit and it led to me getting a, a two base hit or a double so we're just gonna complete the game and um, you know, see if we can get the win here now uh, when I talk more in depth about the, uh, the the game I'll get into more advanced strategies but um, you know there's a certain setup that you can have in order to enhance um, that your opportunities of being able to win. So as you can see here, I stopped the game because I didn't want to go through all that. But we won the game, and um, I was able to level up. And from leveling up, I was able to get um, these bonuses here. So I got a bonus of one skill point, which I'll get into, and also 1,000 coins, and it also increased my max energy. Now the max energy is um, very key as well. The the energy, which is that green bar that's beside where my uh, coins are 
is the amount of energy that I can use per uh, per game. Now, to play each game, you get uh, it takes up five of your energy points. So this limits the amount of games that you can play per um, per session. So each I think it's five minutes. It'll go your energy bar will increase by one. So um, you know it's is uh, you know the more energy points you have the more games that you can play so that's always something to keep in mind so um, we're just gonna click here where it says click and we're gonna go back home and uh, it says every time you le level up you'll receive skill points which can be spent to improve your character click on your character so I'm gonna click on the character And um, I'm going to get more in depth about how to use these skill points because there's three types of skill points that you have for your character. And how you use these skill points will determine how well your character hits. Whether they're just a more consistent hitter, whether they're a slugger, power hitter, and so forth. So to me, there's a limit, well, not a limit, but a way to make your, pa your player. Um, optimize, you know, the amount of, you know, the amount of hits you get, the type of hits you get, and also be able to increase your uh, power gauge as much as possible. For me personally, what I like to do is always try to get my power gauge up to the max as soon as possible. So by doing that, I always like to increase my uh, power. Well, first my lucky hits first, and then my power hits second, and then I. I mean, I do have contact hits in my skill points as well, but um, more and more or less, I want to always increase those two before I increase my uh, contact hits. So um, that's always something to consider as well. And um, you know, it's one of those things where I mean, you can make your character any way you want it. Some people would want maybe to have their contact hits. Um, more important to them. So let's go into this and as you see here you have how you can select your uh, your skill points and it says there are three different types of batting skills contact hits and it says contact increases the chance of hitting base hits you want to see contact more contact hit more often you should use your skill points on contact. And it goes to the second one power hit power increases the chance of hitting Further, if you want to see power hits more often, you should use your skill points on power. And finally, luck increases the amount of con uh, combo points you receive per base hit. If you want to see lucky hit more often, you should use your skill points on luck. So, as you see right here, I can choose from each of them. I'm going to just select on luck because I always want to uh, increase my lucky hits more than anything else, just due to the fact that for each lucky hit that you get depending on the hit that you get it increases your combo gauge times three so I'm just going to exit that and um, this here is um, letting you know about you know af you know asking your friends to be on there and uh, for the most part uh, I don't ask my friends to be on there because I, I know it kind of annoys people to get these um, alerts and stuff like that so well, this and this is the end of the uh, the tutorial. And they gave me forty forty thousand coins, which was a lot actually. So normally I just add uh, I, I go to the add me page and then just uh, get random people to be on my friends list, which helps actually. So um, let's bring it to an end. I'm gonna go to part two with more advanced stuff. See you then.